Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Spigen style armor case for iPhone 15 Pro Max and we've got it in Midnight Indigo and Alpine Orange. As the name suggests, this case is designed to offer some drop protection with more of an emphasis on style. This section at the bottom here is detachable and coupled with the rest of the case is meant to mimic the design of the original iPhone from 17 years ago. Yeah, it's been that long. For the outside of the case, Spigen have used a, a hard plastic, which is sort of a silvery gold in colour, very similar to the natural titanium uh, casing of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The bottom section is a soft plastic. The inside of the case is made up of this orange soft rubber material, which is uh, very strong when you add it to the plastic of the outside. There's also this plastic insert, which houses the MagSafe components. There's a, a little gap either side of both volume and power button as well as the action button. The camera cutout's got a soft rubber insert to it but also a hard plastic outer edge to it as well which is going to add even more protection. What is a nice touch is the Style Armour MagFit branding embossed onto the side. I think that looks really classy. Usually we see the Spigen branding there but obviously we've got it on the bottom of the case here so no need for that on this occasion. That looks really nice. And I think they should probably look at doing that a little bit more often with some of their other cases. Now, you can fit this case without removing the bottom section. But there's a little bit of an issue when you do, and that is that this tends to bend in a little bit. So this is what can kind of happen if you install the case or remove the case without taking this section off first. So let's, let's, let's do it as speak and designed and, and we'll see what results we get. So that comes off really easily. There's a uh, let's insert there, which slides into that. So let's pop the phone in. It goes in so easily, it's unbelievable. As you can see, there is a little bit of looseness there, but that's obviously going to be fixed when we, when we fit this piece. So what you do is you slide that into there like so, making sure that clip goes into place. And it is a little bit fiddly, I'm not going to lie. And if you do it wrong, that's what you get. So it doesn't fit very well. So let's give that another try. And there we go. It goes into place really quite well. And then obviously once you've fitted the section at the bottom, this is much more fixed in place. It goes in very nicely. I think that's a little bit too fiddly if I'm honest considering you can put the phone into the case without removing the bottom section as long as you're taking care not to damage or twist this rubber at the bottom of the case here you'll be fine and that's that's probably how i'm going to do it so the case adds very little bulk you can see here we've got these gaps in the buttons which i always find to be a curious design because that's going to let in dust and dirt that otherwise wouldn't get in there which is kind of defeats the object for me. Same around here. You obviously can't avoid that with the camera. You've got to have a gap, but you know, it's just my opinion. The cutouts at the bottom are really precise. I think these, the way the orange uh, rubber protection from the inside shows through around the speaker and the microphone, I think that looks actually really good. They should maybe consider doing some other colors. I think there's a, uh, classic silver as well, which I haven't got. As you can see, the USB-C cutout is going to be plenty big enough for other third-party cases. But it's adding no bulk and feels really nice. Just talking about the buttons again, the volume down button is very, very tactile, plenty of feedback, very responsive, volume up as well, action button likewise, and the side button, or power button as some of us call it works fine as well. The case is an excellent fit and it feels really nice. It doesn't look like the grippiest material, but this is really grippy. I'm holding that very loosely. And as you can see, it's not, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's really grippy as well. And it feels like it's going to offer a lot of protection. So I think when you consider the design of this case is to offer drop protection and some style, I think Spigen have smashed it out of the park, to be quite honest with you. And I think they should do a lot more colours. I think a, a bright blue, a bright green, a purple, yellow, definitely red. They should go for it. They should just go for it. And these are 
some of the nicest cases. I've reviewed the Spigen uh, Enzo Aramid case, and that's still my favorite case, but this is right up there. Spigen are smashing it out of the park this year. They've, they've always offered good cases. They've always offered some interesting designs, but now they're clearly going after the, the more stylish and uh, they're as good as any out there, in my opinion. I did mention this is a MagSafe case, so let's give that a try. There we go. Perfect. Usual jiggle test. I will say I'm giving that more of a shake than it might look like on camera, and it does hold very well. Give Apple's MagSafe battery pack a try. That clicks into place very well, and it starts charging straight away. There's our animation, which is strangely satisfying. In terms of wired charging, it looks quite obvious already that Apple's cable is going to go in there straight away as it does. Third party anchor cable, they make really good cables. This one's a little bit thicker and goes in without any issues at all. See it's charging there. I always like to try the MagSafe functionality on my favorite uh, MagSafe charger. There we go. Works perfectly. Uh, for anyone interested, this is the Anchor 623 MagGo wireless charger and it also charges your AirPods as well as your iPhone at the same time. It's really solid build and I definitely recommend if anyone's interested in that. It's quite a clear day today, so I wanted to let everybody see what it looks like outside. It is quite a bright orange, but not too bright. This case is really nice. For those of you interested in the midnight indigo color, that's just as nice. It's exactly the same design, just a different color. So that is the Spigen Style Armor MagFit case for iPhone 15 Pro Max. Plenty of drop protection and lots of style. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.